Like any flagship of an eminent and status brand, this car is stuffed to capacity with all sorts of electronic gadgets and know-how, and in its arsenal there are the most modern and powerful engines, multi-speed automatic transmissions and sophisticated all-wheel drive transmissions. Naturally, all this magnificence must not only be serviced in a timely and competent manner, but also repaired when it fails. We hasten to reassure you, the reliability of the Mercedes-Benz GL class has become much better. The first-generation Mercedes-Benz GL appeared in 2006. At the heart of the SUV is a strong supporting structure with a reinforced body. The engine range was dominated by eight-cylinder engines, gasoline V8 with a volume of 3.7 liters, 360 horsepower, and 5.5 liters, 388 horsepower, as well as 3.0 V6 turbo diesels, 211 and 226 forces, and 6, 0 V8 with a capacity of 306 horses. Mercedes-Benz second generation GL X164 2006-2012. Almost 13 years have passed since the first generation GL appeared. Most of the congenital sores on second generation SUVs have already been largely cured. However, complex and technically advanced components and mechanisms are initially demanding for quality service. For example, all engines in an SUV are exclusively turbocharged and direct fuel injection, with both gasoline 3.0 V6, 333 horsepower, and 4.0 V8, 435 horsepower, and 3 liter V6 turbo diesels with a capacity of 249 and 258 forces. And this means that expensive turbochargers and injection nozzles, an average of 15,000 rubles each, can fail from our fuel. And they do although not as often. Gasoline engines at risk have a crankcase ventilation system, EGR, which must be periodically cleaned, a generator, 17,000 rubles, converters, 65,000 rubles each, but there are four of them, oxygen sensors, 8,500, and mass flow air, as well as a timing chain, 12,500 with rollers, and fluid couplings of phase shifters. A large V8 is prone to overheating, so cleaning both radiators every two years with disassembly is a must. And in general, the 8 is noticeably more expensive in the content of the base 333 horsepower gasoline engine. Diesel 6 turned out to be much more reliable, although also by no means without flaws. It happened that one unsuccessful refueling with the surrogate solarium led to very sad consequences. Owners after that usually changed expensive injection nozzles, but 16,800 rubles. After a run of 150 to 200,000 kilometers, you must be ready to upgrade the turbine and high-pressure fuel pump. However, some change them hardly after 300,000 kilometers. If we get lucky, automatic machines on the GL are considered maintenance-free, however, the officials prescribe an oil change in them after 80,000 kilometers of run, and some experts recommend updating special fluids even more often, and in this we are in complete solidarity with them. In general, a 7-speed hydraulic automatic is considered quite reliable, and for all the time it has been upgraded a dozen times, although exacerbations do occur from time to time. Therefore, the revision of the box is required. When buying a used SUV, an all-wheel drive transmission diagnostic is also required. Particular attention should be paid to gearboxes, drives and transfer box. By the way, it is also desirable to change the oil in them every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Otherwise, replacing each of these transmission elements will pull on a six-figure sum. Please note that after 150,000 kilometers it will be time to change the cardan crosses and the outboard bearing. Moreover, it comes exclusively assembled with the cardan shaft and costs from 75,000 rubles. True, there are many proposals on the market for replacing these consumables separately. All officially sold Mercedes-Benz GL classes were equipped with their suspension. It is the air springs in it that are the most vulnerable spot, and more often the rear ones fail, and they are usually changed in pairs, from 36,000 rubles, and from dealers for 55,000. Important, as soon as you realize that these elements are out of order, do not delay the replacement. Worn cylinders will quickly finish off the rest of the suspension parts, and shaking up the entire chassis is very expensive. GL is quite possible to take with hands, but not for the last money and be sure to diagnose all systems. Modifications. The charged version of AMG appeared only on the second generation of the GL, and almost simultaneously with the civilian modification of the SUV. Externally, a 
the sporty version of the car is given out by a more prominent hood, aerodynamic sills, a more aggressive front bumper with huge air intake, dips, a modified radiator grille and a modest V8 bi-turbo nameplate on the front fenders. This inconspicuous touch means that under the hood is a 5.5 liter 8 with a twin turbo with a capacity of 557 forces and 760 newton meters of torque, which allows the GL63 AMG to accelerate to hundreds in just 6.9 seconds, and the maximum speed is limited to 250 kilometers per hour. Transmission In the all-wheel drive transmission, the first signs of wear appear only closer to 150,000 kilometers. In addition, most owners of the GL class do not leave the asphalt at all. However, pre-purchase diagnostics are, to put it mildly, desirable, otherwise the burden of restoring an expensive 4x4 system may fall entirely on your shoulders. Engine. Do not chase the top versions of the SUV. After all, even with the base V6, it has excellent dynamics. In addition, the 6 is a priori cheaper and more reliable. The most trouble-free is considered a turbo diesel and any power. However, when buying from hand, avoid cars with chipped engines. The resource of such units, as a rule, is a big question. Suspension. In the running gear, from congenital sores, one can single out wheel bearings that fail, for 30,000 to 70,000 kilometers, which change as an assembly with the hub, front levers with ball bearings and silent blocks, as well as rear levers for setting camber and toe angles. Numo elements usually serve 90 to 120,000 kilometers, However, sometimes they wear out even before their due date. Body. The body of the SUV is very resistant to corrosion, and the paintwork is quite strong. That's just chrome body elements very quickly surrender to chemical reagents, often even during the warranty period. Sometimes door handles break, and the door opening mechanism wears out quickly, ceasing to perform its functions. Crickets start up in the cabin, and with age there are more of them. Electric. To say that the GL class is stuffed to the eyeballs with electronics is to say nothing. She's just everywhere. Naturally, failures and glitches, as well as breakdowns, often occur in it. If restarting the engine does not solve the problem, hurry to the dealer. He will remove the error using the computer. With age, wiring, connectors, and contacts suffer, which are treated with banal cleaning. 